it was a, you know, we played decently in the first half. I felt there was, obviously it was a 7-6 game. Um, we felt offensively we still had a, a lot of stuff to continue to move and improve on going into the second half. And I think defensively, I think we felt just as good. We said we need to shore up a few things, but, um, but apparently they made better adjustments than we did, you know, in the second half. Uh, defensively, uh, knowing that they were to start with the ball, um, they scored pretty quickly, you know, in their first series of the, of the second half. Um, we've had some challenges with, with the things that they were doing, the quarterback run game and some other things that they were doing. And unfortunately for us, we didn't quite get those executed properly to help us. You know, offensively, put a lot more pressure on us offensively to, to try to generate, you know, some, some drives. And there was fourth down, I went, went forward in the second half that, you know, was kind of short. Um, didn't come up with and gave them a short field and they scored quickly. So, you know, we were trying to do the right things and trying to stay in the game, but unfortunately we couldn't stop what they were doing. Um, and then, you know, with the rhythm offensively, we, we seemed to, to not catch rhythm quite as well as we should have. You know, really haven't caught rhythm the whole game if you think about it. Even in the first half with the field goals, we did some positive things, but it wasn't like it was uh, a seamless operation. So um, first game, you know, we have a lot of work to, to fix and improve on, and there's a lot of players playing, and, you know, that's kind of what we, we understood that. And that's not an excuse, and we just have to get better. You know, we're going to have to get better. So it's one game down and 11 to go, and, and uh, we, we know that in that locker room we can get a lot better. You know, I'm sure that's what their mindset is right now from what we just talked about, and uh, there's nowhere to go but up. So we're going to continue to work and hopefully get better and get ready to play a really good Air Force team. Where do you go from here with the quarterback situation after tonight? We'll continue to work through it. We'll continue to work through it. You know, I think we're going to have to get some film evaluation on both and, you know, and to see how we, what we do from this point forward. I, I, I don't have an answer right now, right after the game, but we're going, to, we're going to definitely have some discussion on that. How tough was it at halftime to kind of determine which quarterback you were going to roll with to, to start the second half? Well, at halftime, we were, we were going to, that was not a problem. You know, at that point in time, because it was it was a seven six game, and you know we were going to our plan was to play, you know, start the second half with Belu, and you know again eventually that uh, JT was going to get in there after that was with after a couple series, so um, that was always the plan. You know, we decided to keep uh, JT in there the, the latter month or latter part of that the half uh, in the fourth quarter. You know, it seemed like he had a better rhythm going you know, in terms of what he was doing. I still think he was moving out of the pocket prematurely at times. Uh, I saw that a lot, but um, it's his first day back from playing. No, that's so he had a, he got a chance to get the rust off from having played in a year, and and he'll get he'll sure I'm sure he's going to get better. Did you feel like the offense was flowing better with one versus another? It's hard to say because uh, Belu did some things too where the ball was moving. You know, they were moving the football. Uh, you know, we didn't score a touchdown until the very end of the game. That's the part that I'm a little more disappointed in is we didn't have any productions with any points in the first half or really the second half. So we have some work to, to continue to work on. It's, um, you know, we have to, we'll, we'll figure it out. And I have good enough coaches to figure it out, but we'll figure it out. <clears throat> Aside from, like you said, the lack of finishing drives in the first half, what were your kind of early impressions of the offense? It seemed like, Brandon was able to use his legs a little bit more and with some design runs. Is that um, something you could see going forward if Brendan, when Brendan gets some more playing time? We need, to, we need to get a lot of our stuff offensively working to be more efficient, you know, whether it's the QB run or the RPO or the normal runs and throwing game. I think all of those things, in my mind, I felt like there was no rhythm. I think we got to get better with the rhythm offensively. Um, you know, those two, the quarterbacks, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to work through that. But I, I felt like there was just, just wasn't the rhythm wasn't established, you know, at all. You know, for example, TCU in the second half, their offense had good rhythm every time they stepped on the field. They were making plays and sustaining, sustaining drives. We didn't have that kind of consistency. So that's an area to me that I think is really important for us to address this week is, you know, you're going to play a team like Air Force that takes a lot of time off the clock. <laughs> So you're going to have to take advantage of your opportunities 
and and um, we need to be much better next week. You guys punted on that fourth and five, I think, towards the end of the third quarter from the 41-yard line. Can you just explain the process to decide to punt the ball there? We did that the second time because when I did go for it the other time and we didn't get it, they scored quickly. So it was already, it was a, it was, we were down by 25 points in six minutes at that point in time. So it's pretty hard to, it's, it's three touchdowns and a field goal <laughs> to try to, to try to fix in, in such a short period of time. So I didn't want to continue to put that much pressure on our defense. You know, normally I would want to do that if we're playing well defensively, but for some reason we were struggling just with what they were doing offensively. You mentioned your defense. I think the stat that, that shocked a lot of us was that 200, maybe you too, the 260 second half rushing yards. What changed from that? That's just in the second half from that after the first half of that. Because they, they had, struggled I think to get it was 70 rhythm. yards in the first yeah. half. Yeah, and, and, and did, so. that, did that worry you with the context of you take it one week at a time, but let's just use Air Force as an example. I would think that that does that raise red flags or was it just something that they were doing? I think both. I think it's something that we were not doing and something they were doing that we didn't have the right adjustment to. I think that's really the, the question for that or the answer for that, Sean. I, I, we, we, we didn't have the answers. You know, they had better adjustments in the second half. We felt like we made adjustments, but apparently they were not as, as good as they should have been. So uh, we're, we're going to all learn from this first game. You know, we're going to have to put our guys in better position. We're going to have to see what we really can do well versus what we shouldn't do anymore. Uh, and that's on both sides of the ball. And that's on special teams, too. I mean, we knew this returner was a really good returner. Um, we didn't fan out and get great coverage lanes, and they got us to the field. So uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And uh, it starts with me. Uh, I'm not pointing a finger to any of our players. Uh, our coaches and me, we got to get this thing done. And uh, I'm, I'm very confident that this group of coaches will do that. Yes, ma'am. There was still a tangible, winnable game at the end of the third quarter. When did you feel you were losing momentum? Did you feel your players not being as involved as they were entering the fourth quarter? And what was your mindset going into that last set? The mindset going into the last part of the game, the fourth quarter, was to finish the game properly finish the game playing hard, playing the style of play that we should do, get, get better at what we were doing uh, in the process of the game. Um, offense scored, right? They scored on a drive. We didn't do that in the first half. I think defensively we had trouble stopping them. You know, so I think those are the things that, I mean, it's pretty obvious the, the issues that we were, were plagued for today the challenge is getting those fixed in a week's time to, to be competitive next week. You That's what we got to do. You mentioned the lack of rhythm offensively, especially in the first half. You guys still dominated the time of possession by over 14 minutes in the first half. Is that at all kind of any um, good sign for you guys going forward? That, Like you mentioned the Air Force next week, they're going to try to do something similar in terms of dominating time of possession. Is that at least a positive sign from last season where you guys are really – so able to sustain some long drives, even if, you know, early part of the season you're not finishing them for touchdowns? It's hard to find a lot of positive today. Um, but I, I appreciate it <laughs> with what you're saying. Um, the, the first half, I was disappointed because we weren't getting points in terms of touchdowns, you know, in a game like that. I knew that TCU has enough firepower at some point in time that if you don't score touchdowns, it's going get, to get ugly quickly. And, and that's really the part that we didn't do well. We didn't score touchdowns to the very end. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of areas of, of things that needs to, be, needs to be worked on right now. It's not just offense. We know that defense, we got to, some things to shore up there. We got to shore up our coverages on special teams. There's a lot of uh, things in this first game that we were exposed. Uh, and we need to get it shored up pretty quickly because it's, you know, teams are going to keep coming. So. But I Coach, appreciate your um, time. Don't be uh, – uh, we'll get this right. We'll get it better. Yes. Coach, uh, apart from the two long balls to Daniel, passing game seemed a little bit conservative, um, even on downs and distances as the game was kind of getting away from you guys. Is that a byproduct of a place that you thought that you could attack them or just going through the progressions and they've got guys covered? Probably all three of those things. Guys were covered and going through progressions and – um, you know, that, that defensive 
structure that I've explained, I think, last year going into it, it's a, it's a difficult defense to get over the top of just because it's a 3-3-5 it's a three, three, system that um, it's hard. It's just not a lot of air in this defense. And, um, I mean, they've done a nice job of, of not giving you, giving you too many big plays. Now, you saw Daniel caught a few, but, you know, I think there was a couple other plays and then a touchdown at the end. But um, we, we have to – we have to do all of our things better, much, much better. Um, and it starts with, you know, both sides of the ball, you know, fixing this and shoring up the, the, the issues that we had today. And uh, I'm confident that we can get it fixed, though, because I know we're a better team than what we did, what we played like today. We're better than that. Um, but I got to stop talking about it. We just got to go prove it. We got to get, get better. Okay, two more, Sean. Go ahead. Carl, what are you going to say to the, the, those fans, and especially in the social media world? I know it's it's that world, but uh, they're reactive that, that they're going to say, how is Brendan Lewis different and better after being told for many a months unseen that he was different and better, and people who saw a lot of what they recognized last year a little bit of something. What would you say to them if they come at you with that? Well, I mean, I, I, I think he's different and better. You know, we didn't we didn't have an idea what he would look like today, but everything that's shown him in the off season up to this point, he looked really well, did really good things. So, um, and again, like I said, we'll we'll evaluate the quarterback thing now that we have a we have a healthier room. You know, we'll we'll do what's best moving forward. But I, I don't I didn't think Brendan played poorly. You know, he he made a few plays. He did some things with his legs. He had some throws. Uh, he wasn't perfect, though, and nor, neither was JT. So we'll watch the tape. We'll, we'll, we'll assess, you know, get a chance to, to, to fix and address some things and, and get ourselves ready to play this week. But I would say for our fans, um, you know, there's, there's, there's jitters in everybody, you know, that first game coming back. And, you know, maybe it was too much pressure on him. Who knows? Uh, but I, I'm confident that he's a better player. I still feel that he's a better player than last year. So I still will tell that to my fans, or lack of fans. Carl, real quickly, I don't know Sonny Dykes' history that well. I know that he likes to throw the ball. Is his quarterback run play like he was running tonight in that second half? Is that a big part? Has that been a big part of his offense in in the past, or did, was that something that kind of came out of the blue? It probably know? showed up more in this game than I've seen it. I mean, he's done it in the past, but it it, it was more prevalent today. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.